Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. Today we're going to be doing a Jesus talking video, so we're going to talk about this phrase up here on my little board called live abundantly and what that means. So I'm going to be talking about that. Two disclaimers before I do so. One, if you don't know already, my room is very echoey because I'm emptying it out. So the audio in this video kind of sucks, but just bear with me. I'm almost done. And the second thing I was going to tell you is actually this is my last video in this room. So whatever videos you see from me next won't be in this place. So that's just something to keep in mind. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. So the verse I'm going to be going off of and talking about is John 10:10, 10, 10, and what it says is the thief comes to only to steal, kill, and destroy. That's the enemy or Satan. And I have come, Jesus, that they may have a life and have it to the full, or other versions say have it more abundantly. And that's where I get this phrase, and that's kind of what I'm going to be talking about because. I literally just had this conversation with my mom like right before this video and I told her that she should just film it anyways but she didn't want to but we were just talking about how young adults mainly or even just adults or teenagers or whatever we can get stuck in just our routine and especially when you graduate high school you think that you have to choose a job that you're going to do forever and that's kind of the mentality that we've had but i don't really believe that's what jesus intended and i don't believe that that's how life works either because we can't just do one thing for the rest of our lives it would just drive us crazy and we wouldn't be able to function so i'm going to be talking about that and just how to live life abundantly into the full. I think the first step in knowing how to live life more abundantly is knowing who created life and what it's intended for and why we're here on this earth and that is Jesus, Jesus or God, that same person, but God created us and our lives and all of that and he has a purpose for every one of our lives and if we don't know what that purpose is that's when we tend to struggle or get in a rut or just kind of feel like things are meaningless because we don't really understand why we're here on this earth so that's just something that I feel like is very important especially for like younger people people in high school and people in college that don't really know what they're supposed to be doing, that's when I encourage you to spend these years figuring out for yourself. You're not going to know 100% what you're supposed to be on this earth for, but at least getting an idea of what you're on this earth for is a good first stepping stone so that you know what direction your life needs to take. The second step I think is really practical and this is something that I've done growing up all the time is I would make bucket lists and I just loved making those especially for the summer just because I didn't want any season of my life to be boring and it kind of sounds cheesy to do but I really recommend doing something like a bucket list. What my family did this year is we did vision boards and we just bought some little, I don't know what you call them right now, but just papers, big papers that we could write things on. So on mine, I wish I had it, it's packed right now, but I just wrote 2019 on the top and then I wrote three goals that I had. So my first one was to travel to a new state. Little did I know I actually was going to move to a new state when I wrote that, but Anywho, I wrote that. The second one I had was to grow more on social media. And then the third one that I had was to work on emotional healing and all of that. So things like that can give you more of a direction and motivation for your life. And it makes you 
feel like you have a purpose for doing things and that makes you feel full and satisfied. So I highly recommend doing a bucket list or a vision board or there's even things like bullet journals. There are so many ways that you can make some plans and just kind of project things that you want to do in your life for a period of time or for your whole life, who knows? The third step that I have for you is to not be afraid to take risks and this is something that my mom was talking about with us moving to Tennessee and everything because it definitely is a risk and we don't have any jobs there. We barely have a house, we're living in an apartment and it, nothing really is perfectly set in stone, which seems scary, but that's what life is supposed to be. Life is supposed to be an adventure and we believe God is calling us to this area and we don't know how it's gonna work out, but we know that he's gonna take care of us along the way and that's all that really matters. So don't be afraid to take risks and live a little bit spontaneously or adventurously <laughs> because that's where life truly is amazing and you can live it to the fullest. I just want to end this video with just some encouragement to you and I just want to tell you that your life doesn't have to look like a cookie cutter type of thing or a standard like other people are doing. There's no limits to what your life can look like and I think this is something that really I believe and really is something that I preach a lot because for my life when I was graduating high school, I went to a Bible college where I was straight up learning about ministry, doing ministry, and nobody that I knew was doing that. And even the guidance counselor for the seniors that was helping us get into colleges, she was really weirded out with my after high school plans, but that's what I felt the Lord was having me do, and it's fine if they don't like it. That's what my life is gonna look like. So that's just what I wanna encourage you with, and I don't think that our lives are all supposed to look the same. We're all so very different and have so many different personalities and passions and desires that we can create a life obviously doing things that Jesus wants us to do but we can create a life that is abundant and we don't have to live in a rut or just kind of going through the motions with a nine-to-five job not that that's bad but no one really likes doing that and that's just what I wanted to encourage you with so Take a little leap of faith today and I am cheering for you along the way. That's the end of this video guys. I hope it encourages you in some way or another and if it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do those for you. But I will see you next Saturday. So bye guys!